our boats. That's fine, they're the right kind of trailers. We park here. We definitely go down a, a long stop. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. We are uh, doing our Boundary Waters trip, or at least trip one, uh, for the summer of 2023. We are up here on Moose Lake at La Terrelle. You can see some people doing uh, some towboat services. That's actually what we're going to do today. We're going to towboat and then use uh, the towboat to get to Ensign and then Probably gonna camp on Ensign, and unless all the campsites are full, which it's busy up here, so you never know. I don't think there's a ton of campsites up there, but I don't think that'll be the case. But um, and we'll do day trips from there to different lakes and fish for all sorts of different species. But weather looks amazing. Um, it's actually pretty dry up here. There's no burning ban yet, but it wouldn't surprise me if by the time we get out there is one. Um, but yeah, weather's like 75 and sunny every day. So we're gonna do some fishing and uh, some camping and just some relaxing, it should be great. Um, this is entry point 25 for all of you wondering. And uh, I'll give you some reviews of everything. We just started here with La Torelles, so um, it's 33 bucks per person to uh, tow your boat up to, you know, either Basswood Lake or, um, Ensign or I think there's even a couple others but um, that's one way so a little spendy but you save a lot of energy um, you know traveling five to five to eight miles down Moose Lake and the potential of waves so today not so much it's glass calm but some days it's wavy so we'll see how it goes stay tuned There goes our ride. There's them. We're killing it. Really killing it. fawning season right now so it could be coming to one of these islands to give birth to a fawn. Pretty cool though. Heading up the hill now. Okay guys, fish on. Yes. First fish of the trip.
guys, I'm just sitting on shore right now. I just got a bobber out there. You can see some other fishermen in the distance. And uh, camp is right up there. Um, beautiful camp on Ensign. It's the furthest campsite on Ensign that you can get um, to the northeast, I guess that would be, before the portage to Vera. So it's nice to catch fish. I just had the bobber pop down a couple times and uh, it popped up before I could reel in the slack, which is my doing, but whatever. Um, so yeah, it was good to get a fish. It's midday. I'm sure that you will go out for the evening bite for walleyes, but um, it's nice to be out here. It's nice to catch fish from a campsite. I love it when you can catch fish from a campsite. So um, I just have a worm, simple orange hook and a worm on right now, about six feet down underneath the bobber. And uh, yeah, wind seems to be dying a little bit. It was blowing pretty good from the north to start, but now it's kind of dying down. So should be a good evening bite. I'm pretty excited about it. So I'll turn this back on if we get anything that's uh, big and worth noting. Hopefully I was on camera. That was like a 20 inch largemouth. That thing was massive. We'll see if we get him again. Alright, Emily with the second fish. Well, maybe third or fourth. We caught some pike. Look at that hog. She can release it now. Big? Oh yeah. It's a hawk. It's not that big. Nice though. It's a largey. Just let him fight. He's not big. Bring him right up here. Smalley? Yep. Smalley. Smalley. Look at that. <laughs> Another nice smallmouth here. Probably about 14 inches. And go back. Emily, we almost doubled up. I brought in a couple with this one. They're, they're grouped up. And uh, Emily's got hit, but snapped the hook off, so she's got to retie. A lot of smallies in this spot, a lot of bass in this spot, and a few small pike. No walleyes yet, but the trip is young. Hopefully, we find some. Yeah, Mr. Beaver, right there. That looks like a big one. Sir, do you have a second to talk about your car's extended warranty? Excuse me, sir. Don't run from the law. What did you say? Here catching some crocs. Yeah. 
You got some questions? I got it. They didn't think I could do it. Showed them. It's a lovely portage. One of the many joys of the boundary waters. Luckily we have a nice lightweight canoe. We have Kevlar. Some aluminum. Other type material canoes are much heavier. Kevlar is about as light as you can get up here. So, I think this one weighs 48 pounds or something like that. Pretty, pretty light, especially when the weight is dispersed. Seems like almost every port you come on up here, though, is up the hill and then down the hill. Kind of makes sense. That's why it's land and not water. Good stuff, though. All right, everyone, we need dinner. So we just got back to camp and uh, after some day tripping, we're gonna go see if we can catch some smallies. I've seen a couple jump in here. We haven't found the walleyes yet, so we're gonna have a smallie dinner, possibly if I can catch a couple here. Let's see what happens. This is a good one. What? This is a good one. Wow. Oh no! No, took the hook and everything. Oh no. Terrible. Terrible. That's why you check your knots, folks. They're for the for dinner here. If I can get them. Fine, reel in the slack. Nice. Awesome. Perfect. Perfect. Come here. Come on. All right, look at this guy. There he is. Nice looking bass. Awesome. Working our way towards a wonderful shore lunch, well, shore dinner, we'll call it, shore dinner. So it's a beautiful day too at camp. We did some day packing today in Tavera and other lakes. And uh, it's just, I mean, it's like 80 and sunny and perfect actually would have liked some cloud cover but i'll show you guys camp here in a little bit but i'm gonna try and get maybe one more for uh for dinner tonight so finally got some fish though i caught one more i didn't get on camera so looking good all right guys last one on for the fish fry here hopefully it stays on there's smallmouth A lot of small moths in this spot. That's a good one too. That's a really good one. Nice. Nice on the popper. No live bait on that one. We want a top water, as most smallies do. 
Look at that. That's a great fish. Great fish. Cool. Awesome. Well, we got dinner. Right on. I'll have to show you guys how that's done. All right, guys, so I'm going to start filleting our fish now. I use the, the knife, it's called, by uh, Catch and Cook, the folding fillet knife. Freaking awesome. If you don't have one of these, you need to get one. I don't care if it's by Catch and Cook. I'm not sponsored by them, but anyway, I'd love to be. So, Jay, hear this, but um, great knife. There's a bunch of folding fillet knives out there. Not a bunch, but there's a few. So, And then I use a paddle for uh, my fillet board. A lot of people do the same. I really enjoy it. It's super easy. I don't have to pack a cutting board or anything. It's just the easiest way to do it. So, got some bass here. I'm gonna fillet them up and then uh, put them in tin foil, which I'll show you, and uh, season with some spices, and then just have some some rice on the side. It's gonna be awesome. I love fish in the boundary waters. It's just the best thing in the world. So you don't need to watch me fillet these fish. Um, I could do a fillet video, but you guys know how to fillet fish. And if you don't, message me. I'll show you how to fillet fish. I'll make a video. If you want it, write in the comments and I'll, I'll, I'll make a fillet uh, video for you guys. But um, I will show you the cooking process. So that'll be the next thing you see. No, the croc was the best part of that shot. You guys don't have to kid. Just the way it is. It's pretty shitty out there right now. Yeah. Do you need like a knife or something for the butter? Pretty liquidy almost. Like a pepper knife. Yeah. Okay. And this is all of it? To yep. save some? That's all of it. Unless you, this is the only meal you got. But I rolled out like a couple feet of it and then rolled it up. Sure.
So I mix the Spanish rice with uh, some fish. What do you think? It's good. Plus mosquitoes for seasoning. Protein. Protein. I see Emily here making some <laughs> tea and hot chocolate. It's a good night in the Boundary Waters. We had, what did we call her? Dorothy. Dorothy the grouse. Hang out with us for a while. She was very tame. There's a lot of grouse drumming here too. So, if you're a grouse hunter, don't come to Ensign. I got that covered. But, it was a good day. I wind down. Probably fish for walleyes tomorrow. We got the spot. So, probably catch one. At least one. And we're out of here the day after that on Thursday morning. So, it's been, been good. Bugs haven't been terrible. A couple porridges today on our day trip were kind of rough, but not too bad. We got this Eureka bug tent. It's the CT11. The CT11. And it is awesome. Absolutely love it for this time of night when the bugs come out. All right, see you in the morning. Well, good morning, everyone. It's day three, and uh, we're gonna try some walleye fishing today. Um, we're gonna give you the name of this like Trident Lake. Um, should be some walleyes in there. That's what we've heard. And, uh, they're not massive, but they're good eaters. So we'll give it a shot. But we've been using, uh, this Granite Gear food barrel harness. And then the Granite Gear Superior one. And they're both pretty awesome. I think we fit basically everything that we needed, um, in both those different, um, I guess what would you call them? Bags? Packs. Packs. Packs work. Um, we just brought this little Osprey 40 as like a day packer for all our fishing stuff and our snacks or lunch or whatever, but um, probably didn't need it. This superior one, I think em Emily said it best, it, it just eats gear. Like it just keeps expanding and it doesn't even get all that heavy and it disperses everything really nice. It's easy on your back, so it's a really nice pack. And then the food barrel is just a normal food barrel and it's super convenient um you know good for keeping bears out keeping your food in and whatever else you want to store in there so but yeah we're gonna go try some walleye fishing so i'll update you if we uh end up catching any but i gotta go tie some jigs on right now i did it another species off the list the wonderful sucker of trident lake Going back. Looks like a pike. Another pickerel. Another pickerel. Not happy about that either. Hooked him like 19 feet deep. All right. Don't pull on that. <sighs> Emily's pike. We've gotten a bass, two pike, a sucker, no walleyes. We're killing it. Expert fisherman. Tell me about the fight. Heavy. Pulling down. Pulling down. Pulling down. A largey. That's <laughs> a big one. Oh. <laughs> Do you need a picture or are you good? No. 
trolling collar harnesses. There's Emily's large mall. Bye bye. This feels like a walleye. Here's Bay. We're doubled up here. Doubled up on pike. <laughs> ah. Okay. That's, gonna, that's how it breaks. What? Here. Why don't you get yours first? You got it. Okay. There, mine's gone. Okay. Yours is a little bigger. There it is. Slimy torpedoes. <laughs> oh my god. Well, oh, got a big wall out here, folks. <laughs> this thing is huge. Okay. Alright, well, didn't expect that, but here he is. Not going to keep him out of the water for too long, but I would say he's all a 26, if not maybe even longer. <laughs> That's awesome. You have a quick pick. Lower him a little bit. There you go. Good? Yep. Sweet. Alright, he's going right back in. Good. Go get him, buddy. <laughs> Let's freaking go. That's epic. All right. What? Oh, I had one too. This doesn't feel like it's still on. Well, we'll find out here in a minute. Oh my god. Perch, hog. Got a species. Let's go. Oh my God, look at it. Did you get a picture of this one? Show it to the camera. It's a beauty. It's got a blue tint to it as well. Mm -hmm. Would you like a picture? It's probably a hog. I think we got the lake figured out now. Gotta enjoy the show. Another walleye. This would be a good eater. Maybe a little big. Yeah, that's a good eater. This is fun now. We gotta figure it out. Look at that. Oh, they're so dark. They are, they're gold too. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Came off. Just right there. There we go. Sailing for you guys too. Look at the colors on that thing. Awesome. Big.
walleye. Still on? Yeah, it's running, running up right now. Walleye. Yeah. yeah. Good job. A picture? Yeah, for dad. No, other. Other gill plate. There you go. Okay. Do you want to go over our dinner tonight? Um, we are having instant rice, um, instant masala, which looks really gross, but it smells super good, and then steamed snap peas. Scott's super excited for it. <laughs> and beef jerky for dessert. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds great. I'm excited. It's actually really good. <laughs> I'll admit it. Good work. Thank you. Alright, so it's our last night here on Ensign. And I really haven't showed you guys our campsite yet. So, there's our bug tent. It's the Eureka CT11. It's a lifesaver, especially on these June trips. There's a couple tent pads over here. Toilet's up that way. There's where our tent is. It's actually sweet. It's right by the water. Nice tent pad there. And then what I think is the coolest part of this whole thing is the amount of fishing space and just rock space. I mean, it goes all the way that way. Portage into Trident is right there. Portage into Vera is right there. Back home is that way. But there's just... I don't know, 50, 60 yards of um, rock rock wall and rock ledges to fish. Here's the uh, fire grate. We kind of got some people ready to go for the next one. Some firewood. But we're not going to have a fire tonight. It's a little windy and it's dry. Actually, pretty sure we'll probably get out and there'll be a burning band. There wasn't when we came in, but... There probably will be when it comes out, so it's a little windy yet, as you can tell by the ripples and some gusts. But there's some good fishing right here on these. You can see some boulders submerged under the water. And our canoe over there. I mean, there's just endless rock space to fish, so. Um, and we caught tons of bass in northern from camp. No walleyes, but um, tons of bass in northern, so. Really, really good campsite. I'd say eight, eight out of ten. If there was walleyes, it'd be a ten out of ten. I'm sure there are at some points of the year, or if there's better fishermen than me that come here, which is probably most of you. Who knows? So, great campsite. But we're gonna get some sleep here soon, and then wake up in the morning and pack everything up and paddle on out of here. So, probably give you one or two more updates, and then wrap up this video. Alright, we're all packed up. Gonna head on out of here, get to our towboat time. I think it's at 10 o'clock. It's probably 8 o'clock right now or so, or something like that. So, I'm gonna get on out of here. It's been an awesome trip. Um, be sure to like and subscribe, guys. We appreciate that. That's the way uh, I keep making these videos, is by you guys subscribing and liking the videos. Leave a comment. What's uh, your favorite Boundary Waters moment if you've been up here? Or if you've never been, uh, what would be your favorite thing to look forward to? You know, whether it's the scenery or the fishing or, 
or whatever. But we'll see you guys in the next video. Appreciate you all, and we'll catch you later. Looks pretty high. Yep. Hello.